Painstaking investigation continues in eastern Ukraine at the site. MH17 was shot down by a missile. Tony Chang picks up that, that part of the story, story. He joins us live from Donetsk with the latest there. And Tony, this work is taking place while the re region remains actually a war zone. What do we know about this? Yes, absolutely. Well, in contrast, I think, to the peace, tranquility and dignity that Richard was just talking about uh, here in Donetsk, in the area around that crash zone, it's still very much an active war zone. There's a, there's a small area in the immediate vicinity of the crash site, which has been designated a ceasefire zone uh, between the separatist rebels and the Ukrainian government. But, but just beyond that, uh, they're still fighting. Yesterday, there were large plumes of smoke. Uh, rocket fire could be heard in the distance, grenades. Today, we understand that uh, two Ukrainian Air Force uh, planes were shot down uh, between 25 and 30 kilometers away from that crash site. We understand from, from the Ukrainian authorities in Kiev uh, that they were shot down from rockets placed within Russia. Um, that hasn't been confirmed by anyone yet. We, haven't, we certainly haven't had any reports of, uh, of rockets on the ground in that area, and I think there are lots of people that, in the immediate vicinity of that crash site who would be looking very carefully. Uh, nonetheless, it's an illustration of the kind of problems hampering uh, the recovery of the bodies that has now been done, uh, albeit imperfectly. And we heard the Dutch say yesterday that they only had 200 uh, of, the, of the bodies, whereas they'd been told by the separatist uh, rebels they had, that they'd been sent 282. So clearly a very considerable discrepancy there. They do need to get more bodies into the site. They do need to get more investigators in. They do need to do an incredibly thorough search. But with the conflict going on in a violent state as it is at the moment, that is going to be very difficult. So, Tony, from what you know, the investigators are back at the scene still at the crash site, that 15 square kilometer area, or they're not? Because, as you said, many bodies have not been recovered. Absolutely. Uh, there are three investigators, uh, effectively. We've seen them at the site for the last two days. They're from Malaysia. There are many more waiting in Kiev, but uh, at this stage, they don't appear to be coming in. Uh, the OSCE, the European Security Organization, which has been monitoring the conflict here for the last three months, uh, but also has been monitoring the conflict, the, the, the crash zone, very carefully over the last six days, has also been there. But be, they've been very careful to point out that they are observers, simply. They are not partaking in the recovery or the rescue effort. That said, they have provided some rather interesting information. Yesterday evening, uh, they said that they had noticed that some of the wreckage had been uh, changed considerably uh, since it went down, since the, the plane crashed uh, some time ago. So there does appear to be an interference, and I think the pressing need for real investigators to get in there is certainly very current. Tony Chang reporting live from Donetsk. Thank you for the update.